Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to have a look at the Interceptor. This was sent over to me by Hexagonal Nexel. I've put a link to his channel below. Check him out. I first saw the Interceptor a few months ago. A viewer of the channel sent in the model, but it was broken. MSR1701 fixed it and released it for Bridge Commander Remastered. Hexagonal Nexel's version is for Kobayashi Maru and it's been revamped. It comes equipped with new weaponry and new sound effects. As you can probably tell by the name, it's a rapid response ship developed by Starfleet. Ideal for combat emergencies, we're going to put it through its paces. As a first test, I want to see if two of them can take on the Enterprise F. So this ship kind of reminds me of what they were going for with Voyager. They wanted a smaller ship that was fast, maneuverable, well armed, bristling with new tech. The Enterprise F though, this is going to be a challenge. Ooh. I love that phaser sound. That was developed by Hexagonal Nexel. Oh, uh, whoa! Did I just hit something critical? Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but this ship is equipped with Type 14 phasers, which are new, so I'm almost wondering if we got directly through the shield. We also have multi-spectrum shielding as well. Want to repeat the experiment? So we have taken some hull damage here. Ooh! Yep, yeah, look at that. Same result. We have taken quite a bit of damage, but I think that was a successful test for the Interceptor. Hmm, I wonder if we can take on Robocop. When I say Robocop, I mean the Captain of the Vengeance, who is the same actor, of course. I'd laugh if Robocop actually was in Star Trek, that would be a plot twist. So we're just going to go against them in one ship. The Vengeance does have some very hefty armour, which is why I wanted to go against it. See if our phasers can do the same trick as last time. I love those phaser sounds. We are equipped with transphasic torpedoes as well, which I'm going to test after this battle against a certain Borg Q. So we have impacted their armor, but it's still quite tough going. Ah, there we go. Progress. Those new shields are doing a very good job. The Vengeance is so powerful, it can even match TNG era starships. Oh wow. We also do this from a distance actually. Yep. Upholding the law. Well, there he goes. Okay, let's go after the Borg. So we're going to go after your normal garden variety Borg cube. Imagine seeing one of these in the garden. So let's try the standard quantums first. We do have transphasic torpedoes, which I think we're going to have to rely on, but you never know. Whoa, hull damage. Ah. So is it the torpedoes, perhaps? They are enhanced quantum torpedoes, which I failed to mention. That could be something to do with it. Yep, look at that, hull damage, though they are regenerating, as you would expect. Okay, let's switch to some transphasics. Aha! Let's fire the shot. Oh, nice. Yay, there we go! Crikey. Well, I definitely think this ship has a place in Starfleet. It's small, maneuverable, and heavily armed. 
It almost feels like a refined version of The Defiant. Minus the pulse phases, of course. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.